and write for her dramatically. So this next aria is known as um, more of a Puccini soprano aria. And she took on this role, and I personally think she nailed it, um, of Floria Costa. Costa is one of those roles that if you've got any kind of sopranoness or top notes or even mezzo soprano or top, you kind of want it because it's the ultimate. Floria is this tempestuous, romantic, impulsive, and downright dangerous, if not at the end, actually, this opera singer, this celebrated singer. And she's in love with this revolutionary who's also a painter, Mario Cavaradossi. And she makes a mistake, and her mistake was her insecurity and her jealousy. Throw her lover into a turn of events that, well, eventually cost him his life. But, and the top of, well, not top of Act Two, but during the Act Two, there's this confrontation between herself and the Baron Scarpia, who is chief of police there in Rome. He hates Mario. He loves as much as he can. It's more like lust after Tosca. So here's the deal he says to her. I'll free your boyfriend if you turn yourself over to me. Uh, all right. And so that's basically it. Very indecent proposal. Right? And Tosca, in the middle of all of this angst and torment, stops in the middle of everything and has this very personal conversation with God. Oh, yeah. oh, God. All right now. Yeah. She Thank says, and lived for art, I lived for love. I have done anything to hurt anyone. Why? Why are you repaying me in this way? Yeah. And so the uh, aria is called Visidate, and I'm going to grab some water before I use it. 